Hello, my beautiful Leos. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope. And this is going to be for your mid month. This is going to cover love, wealth, and what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know. Look at help with your situation. And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live person read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. All right, so let's jump right in here. So, Leah, we're going to first look at your romantic love life. Then we're going to look at your career and finance. And then what you need to know spiritually that you don't know that you need to know that could help you with your situation. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. What's going to have my Leo's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Leo's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Leo's Career and Finance. For now, until the end of January, show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so let's find out. All right, so someone is going to speak some type of truth to you, Leo. It's, it's about um, exciting, uh, thrilling kind of information, okay? It seems like it's more a truth about something about passion. Okay, so let's just get more information here as we go along. It's like, come on, let's go, let's go out. Um, someone's trying to persuade you to come along with them. And they want to speak to you about this energy and concerns around cheap thrills. That's, that's what they're, they're talking about there, but let's get more information. What's going to have my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards my Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards my Leo's career and finance. Now until the end of January, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Someone's getting very jealous here. They're getting very jealous of you and other people and you going out. So we see this defensive, cautious energy. What's gonna have my Leo's romantic love life? Give me nine cards for Leo's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for my Leo's career and finance. Now until the end of January, show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, there's concerns about some kind of overindulgence energy. Somebody's really hungry for your attention. What's going on my Leo's Romantic Love Life? Give me nine cards for my Leo's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Leo's Career and Finance. Now until the end of January. Show me cards you need to see. Show me cards you need to see. All right, let's see here, Leo. Also, let me see what else I'm picking up on here. Okay, so this person's also wanting to tell you that they feel like there's some kind of game plan going on, like they're back and forth kind of energy, and they're like, okay, I feel like... They're like, the ball's in your court. That's what they said. The ball's in your court. Okay. So there's a, a want to open up and take a risk here. And we see there's this concern about an apology. And here we got that motorcycle energy. And motorcycles for me are like the Knight of Wands, passion, action. Somebody feels like there's like a using kind of energy and they want to bring things together. And it looks like they want to overcome some kind of obstacles. They want to see some kind of miracle or some kind of sign. It's like, if I want to take this risk on you, I'm opening up to you. And if I take this risk, I want to see that there's going to be some kind of sign here. We see that there's something about money and family and long-term Leo. And someone's concerned that there's some kind of lying or deceptions here, or dishonesty when it comes to money and finance. Uh, it's like, I really want you. I want to fulfill these desires with you. You know, um, I want to see that there's going to be something that's going to grow here. Let's see what else I pick up on here. I don't know why your spirit guides today keep referencing like different games, but <laughs> okay. Um, I literally have not played that game since I was a child. <laughs> okay. 
Um, so you know the wall ball thing? It's like someone feels like they're bouncing against the wall. Like they're not getting through to you, okay? They're trying to like get through to you. They want their ball to go somewhere. <laughs> okay. okay, your spirit guides today. Okay, let's <laughs> see there's indecisions here. They love you, heart card energy. Yep, that, lots of love, lots of love. And they feel that there's so much potential here. They're like, why can't you see, Leo? Why can't you see? <laughs> Um, we see there's this somebody from before reminiscing about past memories, about this travel situation, and wanting to fix and heal this, and move towards a successful situation. Okay, so let's just bring it together so far what I'm picking up. Okay, your person, the person you're dealing with, they may not even necessarily be dating this person as of yet. There could just be a lot of potential between you and this person. But the problem is this person feels the one that's really interested in you, the one that's in love with you, um, is concerned that, you know, there's a lot of people around you and people that keep, you know, that you, you constantly give attention to people that you shouldn't give attention to and that um, this person has concerns because of, you know, um, okay, this person feels like you, you are giving attention to people that may be just cheap thrills. That's what they call it, cheap thrills. Um, and that there's something, they feel that there's something a lot more solid in this connection for them with you. And they want, they're, they're trying to tell you, trying to show you that they have this very deep love for you and that there could be so much more to this connection. Okay, and you, some of you guys may be dating this person, some of you guys haven't, haven't really taken the steps to date, but you're kind of like interested and this person's really feeling like they, they're coming on strong. Yeah, we see this very strong chemistry and passion here. And we see this person sees you as their main person. And there's concerns about this breakup, all right? And feeling like, okay, that's a blessing. So some of you guys may have come out of another relationship, okay? Um, so we see that there's huge potential here in success and a blessing. Okay, some huge signs. Some, you're giving, you're being giving huge signs of this potential. So it's like, my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about it. My hands are tied and I'm trapped. I keep going around in circles because I, I'm, I can't get over this situation from before. And I wanna make the wisest decision here when it comes to the long term, but I wanna heal this situation because it seems like things have been very chaotic, some difficulty. All right, so it's like something has opened up. I wanted, I know there's so much potential. So this also, this person could have still been attached to someone else as well. So we see that there's a risk being taken here because a huge potential to bring things together. There's a miracle happening here towards success. Okay. So there's, uh, you're gaining confidence here. This person, this person you're dealing with is feeling sad, upset, and feels like there's something secret or unknown here. And they just want to have this happy time with you and spend time together. Okay, let's see what else I'm picking up with your person or the, the, the situation. Oh my goodness, the song that's coming out. Um, again, a, a song I have not heard in a long time. But basically, the song talks about heartache and it's like is it too late and someone's saying someone's giving someone a giving love a bad name you guys can let me know that, that title on the comments below but if you if you know what song I'm talking about but it's like this person's like is it too late and then someone's saying you give love a bad name it's like heartache and sadness okay so this person's so obsessed. We have the devil card energy coming out, okay? And wanting to be happy, joyful, there could be more than one person involved because it's someone from the past. And we see that there's someone really, really in love with you, enjoying the moment with you, but it seems like you have more than one person here, more than one choice. Okay, so it's like, I wanna take a risk of leap of faith. There's so much potential. I need to heal the situation. I'm seeing some signs of success. There's a happy energy. Someone just like enjoys spending time with you. 
you're everything that they want. There's some kind of destiny, a blessing here, and this inner peace with this person. Okay, so a lucky situation when it comes to love and a sense of wisdom trying to bring things together. There's still some hurt or pain or healing, some kind of secrets or unknowns, abundance of breakup or uh, um, walking away from somebody, but then we see this renewal of the past energy. There's a cautious and defensive energy when it comes to love because it's something from before or someone from before or still mourning someone from before and someone feels used in a situation. We see this travel situation and it's like, I feel sad and I, and I can't believe this and I don't know if you're telling me the truth. You're my main person. I want to be happy and joyful. So you have some decisions to make. I feel it's a, a current person. Thank you for that confirmation. A current person and someone from before, okay? Uh, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo energy. Let me see, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. It doesn't have to be those signs, but it's, it's somebody who is gonna speak to you about their indecisions and them feeling trapped, okay? And we see there's an apology from somebody from before which gains your confidence. We see this money, family situation and strong chemistry and passion in someone who is really obsessively thinking about you. So let's move this out of the way and let's take a look at your advice here. When it comes to Leo, for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome, what action should they take when it comes to romance and love now until the end of January for the highest, best good? Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. All right, let's see. All right, so people socializing. So when it comes to people, don't be shocked by the situation. Something's gonna come to light. Focus on long-term stability. You are definitely attracting a lot of people towards you. Be cautious here and be patient to figure out what you want here. Don't lose hope when it comes to your romantic love life when it comes to a relationship. Don't give up, right? You're gonna get exactly what you want, Nine of Cups energy, if you follow your intuition. So basically you have choices here, like I said, but you're gonna have to follow your intuition on this, right? As I always tell you guys, listen to your heart, follow your intuition. You guys know what's best for you. All right, so let's move on to your career and finance. So you guys have thoughts and plans coming up, right? You're thinking about some things here. You guys are getting recognition and attention, Six of Wands energy. And it looks like you could be spending some money with the Five of Pentacles energy. All right, so thoughts and plans of this recognition so some of you guys, now let's talk about where you would spend money to get recognition or fame or attention. You spend money on marketing, right? So you spend money on marketing and you're gonna get attention. So you're doing something where you're spending money to get some kind of attention. So you feel trapped in your thoughts and you have some plans here. And there's a massive change that happens. And you're like, okay, it's time. The timing is right main person, changes, travel, when it comes to some kind of letter, message, document, paperwork. So it's like some kind of changes, some kind of, you're getting some paperwork done, you're doing some things here. Yeah, again, it's showing me you guys are having a goal up here, okay, in your career in finance. You're getting noticed, you're in a good place, things are growing. There's something about this friendship and this main person, which gives you some kind of clarity or answers or victory here. You're looking into things you looked into before and you're really shocked and surprised about the potential offer opportunity that's gonna come in. There is concerns about competition or self-doubt, so you're trying to be smart about this. Let's also go down the layer here. You're protecting a situation because you see an opportunity and you're starting to see the forest before the trees. And you're wanting to follow your heart around the situation. You were able to overcome obstacles and blockages and you did it in a unique way and you found your path. You are getting a lot of attention, people are noticing you, and you're speaking your truth here. 
this looks like you're getting some advice or there's somebody involved with your career in finance here, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Looks like there's this conversation, this meeting, this conference here, group of people, the public. You're fulfilling your desires with this and you're starting to see that there's great changes ahead. You're taking a little bit more on, on as far as burden and responsibility by the end of the month and you're ready to kind of let go of some of that burden and to team up with someone else so that you can kind of step back. Seven of Swords shows me that there's concerns about lying, deceptions, dishonesty, or you're just trying to be very strategic. There's something about this party, this celebration, uh, this, this could be like a, you know, a conference. Um, this could be you just socializing with a bunch of people, networking. There's something about the situation that you are looking back to, like, why did I do that? That was, uh, did I make a mistake here with this? And you kind of reflect on it. Okay, so you guys are growing. There's something growing for you and you're trying to protect it. And you overcome obstacles, blockages in a unique way and find your path. You are moving towards a very positive time period and you're starting to see the forest before the trees. You're getting a lot of attention and it does look like you're trying to be pure in your intentions and there's a sense of truth around the situation when it comes to loyalty and devotion to something that you truly love here. And there's a, a talking, speaking, and revealing some truths that are clearing the air around the situation. And it's, it's allowing you to actually sit back and relax and just enjoy the moment because of the steps you're taking. Because you're doing a lot of reflecting by the end of the month there of like every, all taking stock of everything. Okay, so obviously you can see there's two different people involved in the situation. And um, you are going for what you want. There's this travel or this change that happens which causes a massive shock and surprise in this partnership or this collaboration. There's something about the paperwork, the letter message document, and you're concerned that maybe it isn't on the up and up or some sly slick energy around it makes you feel like you know, uh, can I fix this? You're uh, feeling a bit trapped in your thoughts. You start out there and then you get this friend and you have this conversation or this meeting or something about the public and something changes. You are looking back to the past and you're ending a situation. And uh, you're like, okay, it's time. The blessing is here but there is some kind of competition or self-doubt about this celebration of joyful energy. It's like, it's like you almost don't want to see it as like, okay, what do they say? Count your chi chickens before they're hatched kind of energy. So I see that you have these plans and you are growing some things here with the Empress. You may be involved with uh, a person that is involved with this Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, getting someone's advice, working with someone. And there's victory here, because I see two people also getting recognition. You get clarity, but it seems like you're taking on a lot of burdens and responsibility and having to spend some money. And you have this offer, this opportunity, but it's like with the Seven of Swords, it's like, is it, is it, is it you know, gonna be shady? Is it, is it gonna be truthful? Is it honest? Or should I keep it to myself kind of energy? We see there's a fulfillment of desires and you're like waiting around to see how things are going to play out, but you're kind of cautious and defensive about this. But you're like, this could have this long-term happiness for you with the Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so let's get you guys some advice. Okay, let's use this deck. Can I have some advice for my Leos when it comes to what they should do when it comes to their current finance for the highest, best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Uh, now until the end of January, what action should they take? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so I see there's some indecisions that are going to cause you some regrets. You need to surrender to this. So, as I said, by the end of the month, it seems like you're reflecting. You're like, why did I do that? Was that a mistake? Did I do that right? So they're saying, surrender to this. I release my need to control the situation. Accept it, okay? 
Um, there may be some sense of somebody being jealous or some kind of competition here. It's, it's going to end. You're going to regain your confidence. So focus on your confidence. Don't feel bad about this situation. You're going to fix it, heal it. Don't forget to have fun. Um, it's saying move past this um, grief, this, this uh, sadness. You're going to have success. There's nothing to worry about. Okay. Let's see what's going on with you. So my nice advice for my Leos when it comes to their, what they need to know spiritually that they don't know that they need to know that help them. Now until the end of January, what action should they take? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. The energy is gaining your momentum. Try to be cognizant of your anger the rest of this month, okay? Do some more meditation and contemplation and know that you guys are lucky and luck is on your side, okay? Bring love into the situation and get ready for some big changes coming in in your life, okay? Expect a powerful change here, Leo. All right, my beautiful Leos, I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, I do love hearing from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next